Patching, filling, and grinding. Patching and repairing your concrete. What you need. Jiffy mixer or putty knife. Broom or shop vac. Hand grinder or sander. Latex protective gloves. Small mixing container. And self-leveling sealant or patching compound. Filling in divots, pits, and cracks is an optional step. Hairline cracks will be filled in with the primer epoxy and do not require special attention unless the crack is wide or deep. Patch all the pits and cracks by utilizing a concrete patching compound. Use a self-leveling sealant, which is also a flexible coating, to fill in expansion joints. This is an optional step based on your personal preference. Please clean and remove all debris from the expansion joints before applying. It is extremely difficult to completely hide an expansion joint, therefore it is recommended to fill in as much as you can. Applying this also allows the concrete to move without cracking it. Fillers must dry overnight before applying any coatings. To repair your cracks and divots, use Norcrete Crack Filler. This two-component, 100% solids epoxy crack filler is designed for shallow repair on either vertical or horizontal surfaces. This product is easy to mix and use and has a non-critical mix ratio. Additionally, because it's a 100% solid formulation, it can be applied thicker on horizontal surfaces when required. This product has a mix ratio of one part A to one part B by volume. To mix, simply measure out equal volumes of the material and mix them together thoroughly with slow speed mixing equipment such as a jiffy mixer, putty knife, or paint stick until the material is thoroughly mixed and uniform in color. Mix only an amount of material that can be used in the allotted pot life period. Improper or insufficient mixing can result in product failure. If you are having a hard time spreading the compound because of its thick consistency, Dip your putty knife in a xylene solution and spread the patching compound. Xylene is a thinning agent and will help smooth out the consistency for easier application. Here is another trick to get the patching compound as even and level to the surface as possible. Dip a paintbrush in some xylene and brush it over the patched area to smooth the surface. After you have patched the surface and waited the appropriate cure time, you can now begin to grind the surface. By grinding the patched areas, you will be leveling the surface of your concrete. This creates a seamless surface so you will no longer see the patched areas once you apply the coating. 